to the meteorologist team, D. Davison here, the liveweatherblocks.com overnight edition. We're taking a look first at the Storm Prediction Center's reports, where they have reports today. Let's see, we have Minnesota, a couple tornadoes in Minnesota, and most of them also involved in the central. Wisconsin, uh, 10 reports, uh, preliminary reports, a few of them are reported tornadoes on the ground. We also had some very high winds and hail further south along the line that we were showing earlier on our next rad radar. Little overview showing some flood warnings still in effect. Uh, excessive heat watch, excuse me, in effect now for a Delaware Valley. I'm sure that Rob Reno and the rest of them will go into this more uh, for the Delaware Valley side of things. But we have excessive heat watch, which means temperatures going to probably have heat indices near 105, 110 coming up in the next couple of days. And wow, what a day it was in the Delaware Valley. You have a very heavy rain. We're talking above five inches of rain here in near Wilmington, Delaware, and across into Burlington County. You can see most of the, uh, two and a half or higher inches of rain in this swath here. Also, back near Lancaster, tons of rain fell today. Um, most of that generated by the low that was near the coast and the back fetch that it created. So, uh, with that upper level disturbance kicking out. So, it had a lot of rain today in the Delaware Valley, let me tell you. Taking a look at the current satellite picture, you can see this. The the heavy showers and thunderstorms now in Iowa, in Minnesota, Nebraska, they're all kind of kicked to the east into this area tomorrow for severe weather. We outlined it earlier in our in our s about 7 o'clock uh, cast that we did a little bit earlier. Take a look at that, what I was talking about. Severe weather will be coming uh, more viable up in the uh, upper Midwest and then kicking back. So for the next seven days, severe weather will probably be occurring. Up in the top, in the upper half, where the jet stream comes down across and kicks these disturbances in, and you see some scattered thunderstorms down at the end of the front here, um, in Alabama, Mississippi. Uh, hard to say if that has any kind of effect with the uh, oil. A few of us have been discussing this disturbance off the monsoon trough. Well, we have tropical depression 6E now south of the Baja California. It did develop into a tropical depression, and let's take a look at the. Um, projected path. The projected path actually keeps us a tropical storm and then kills it to a depression as it moves to the west northwest and then further to the west and it dies out by Monday in the graphic that the National Hurricane Center has put on here. So it this will generally drift to the west and die. Will it become a hurricane or is an outside shot? It will, could become a hurricane, not a strong hurricane and it definitely will not be affecting anything along the coast of uh, the Baja California or Mexico. Taking a look at what we've had uh, the last couple of, couple of days, we were talking about two or three days ago about this typhoon that came across and is now a tropical storm. It'll move to the west northwest, come in um, to southern parts of of Hong Kong, south south and west of excuse me, of Hong Kong. You see it move across here, and by 18th at zero double zero Zulu, will be up here. In the southern parts of China. We went earlier about the drought watch. There's some heavy drought actually going on in the eastern part of the state, and, and now the whole uh, this has been updated. Hasn't been quite updated, but there's a drought watch for the entire state. It would be dryness in the atmosphere and the inability um, of the rain to stick into the ground. But that's going to increase the chance of wildfires and also uh, lower the lake levels. Um, if you're uh, out there and come to Virginia anytime we encourage you not to um, do anything that would encourage wildfires here in, in the state of Virginia and it's pretty it's pretty crazy uh, how fast they can spread in these mountains here in, in uh, southwestern Virginia so um, basically on our drought watch in the state of Virginia I just want to go into that because we just discussed a little bit earlier and I said I would discuss it more in the overnight edition so here's a little bit of a map um, on this a uh, new update map should be coming relatively soon now taking a look through the weekend here in the Roanoke Valley, let's start with tomorrow. 94 degrees, be hot and humid. Heat index is going to be about 105. Friday about the same thing. A little bit of a cool down Saturday with a better shot of thunderstorms, some which may be isolatedly severe. We'll keep you updated here at LiveWeatherBlogs.com. Sunday, a little bit of a cool down. 88 degrees, not quite 90. Uh, a little bit of drier air into the area, and then back into the 90s for Monday. And you see our lows. <laughs> are struggling to get below 65 here in the Roanoke Valley and uh, basically we'll be on tomorrow with uh, more information the next bit of severe weather moving into the Great Lakes we're going to keep you updated here at lightweatherblogs.com 
But as for right now, this is Dean D. Davidson with the Live Weather Blogs Overnight Edition. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great evening. And it's Thursday.